As a thought leader running a commercially successful practice, you know, sharing what you know, it's easy to get distracted by the latest algorithm hacks. The idea being, for example, that if you post four times a day on a certain social platform or you film your reels in the app's interface and not the camera roll on your phone, you'll be more successful with your social media hustle. What I believe is that you might be a little better at playing the game that each platform wants to reward you for, but it won't make you more commercially successful as an expert. Of course, when you're selling high value items, say anywhere from fifteen to $150,000, you kind of need to have meetings and hacking that should be your focus. So focus less on platform algorithm hacks and more on having meaningful commercial conversations that focus on the value of doing great work. The platform hacks are a distraction from the real work, connecting with others and talking about how you can help them progress their goals. So if you want to hack things, here are a few worth focusing on. Why don't you hack your reluctance to meet people and have future-oriented conversations? I'm not saying you do, but that's a potential hack. Maybe you want to hack your tendency to over-articulate and fail to invite people to commit to programs. So you're teaching too much instead of inviting. Maybe you want to hack your fear of public speaking. A great thought leader's practice has at the speary pointy end of the practice speaking and publishing, which leads us to maybe you want to hack the undermining belief that all books have been written and yours wouldn't add value to the world. That's just not true. So successful thought leaders know the games worth playing and focus on those and don't let the algorithm game play you.